Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another review on the recently upgraded Carl Toko It can be the headliner card. We're going to be going through the card, his detailed stats, clips, summary, all that good stuff before we get into all of that. If I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below uh, what your thoughts are on this card and the rest of the headliners that are getting upgraded. Uh, oh yeah, that battle has also been upgraded. Let me know if you guys want me to do a review on that card. And without further ado, let's get into the review. So guys, this is the team that I used, Carl Toko Ikambi in. I played him in two positions, one on the left wing and then I switched him at half time to put him up front and try him as a striker. And guys, first impressions of this upgraded card is this card is sensational. He is so good, especially for an 86 rated card, how cheap he is, guys. This is an absolute bargain. I don't know. Obviously, his price is being manipulated and throwing up and down because of investors. But guys, trust me, this card is worth a whole lot more than his 35k price tag. However, let's get into the review for him. Carl Toko can be 6-1, high medium work rates, right footed, 3 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot. So pretty decent, not great for a winger in terms of the skill moves. You maybe would like a little bit more, but all fine and well considering what you can do with him at striker, which is reflected in the results. Four games played, 11 goals scored and three assists. That is insane for Division 1, especially for such a low rated card. This card really does have a lot of things going for it, guys, and I absolutely loved using it. In terms of chemistry, I used the Hawk on him. I wanted to give him that bit of physicality, a bit of extra pace, and just boost his finishing up to that elite level. And guys, I didn't change it. I mean, I was delivering the results of him every time. I didn't feel the need to change it. I felt like his dribbling is, is slow and sticky but his power and ability on the ball generally makes up for it. In terms of attributes, guys, key attributes to bear in mind here, 92 finishing and 88 composure, so he's a very good finisher. Uh, 91 shot power is fantastic as well, 87 strength. Now that is absolutely sensational, especially for this card because he's able to hold off all fullbacks. Basically anyone you want, he can hold them off, um, whether it's Adama, whether it's Kyle Walker, whether it's Kleiber, he'll hold them off. Um, he'll even go up against some of the bigger centre-backs like your Van Dykes and Varans and put in a reasonable fight against them. Another key pro of this card, guys, is his heading accuracy. Off corners, this guy is lethal as well. And that means, for me, guys, he is one of the most complete strikers, actually, in the game. I mean, he's very good at doing the overall striker game. The cons of this card, guys, one thing I would say is the agility and balance does let him down a little bit. He does struggle a little bit. Feels a little slow, stuck in the mud at times. But you'll see in some of the clips, the dribbling that I had with him was perfectly fine. Um, the other thing as well, guys, is his passing is a bit... Uh, hit and miss uh, it could do with a little boost with a chemistry style now i may change mine up to affect that but currently guys i love the hawk with him and uh, i'm going to stick with that chemistry style for the time being in terms of player traits he's got the finesse shot trait and guys some of his finesse shots are fantastic as well which just adds to the value and the beauty of this card as well as the speed dribbler trait is really nice to have that and um, make some lovely runs as well with this uh, speed dribbler trait so really nice to have that as well now that we've covered all that we're going to get into some of the clips that i got with him so guys, getting to some of Carl Toko Ikambi's clips and what you guys are going to see here uh, to start off with is just some of his misses. Now there weren't that many guys, but there were a few and what you guys are going to see is really his power, strength, speed, all of that good stuff that he has and then putting it all together to be able to take on defenders and create opportunities i mean there's that lovely finesse that he has available now guys look at this as well aside from being a winger who's that tall um he's also very good at heading the ball which just means he's more overpowered than before in terms of being able to win headers against bigger defenders as well he's a big winger already he can take on the fullbacks and then he can also take on the center backs guys i mean look at this i said the dribbling was a bit stuck in the mud but there you can see the agility to move away from defenders and keep yourself moving is quite decent i mean there again guys it shows his dribbling isn't too bad i just find him obviously a bit slower than your top level strikers which is who i'm going to compare him to now because that is the kind of level that he is at i do think this card is at the same level as uh, mid icon thierry Henry. i although that may sound blasphemous i think this card is absolutely sensational in terms of how it plays um he's a fan he was fantastic for me guys i mean 11 goals in four games is no easy thing to do um even if they are all easy chances you still have to put them all away um and no other striker's really done that for me in division one yet other than alessandro del piero so this card really did do a job for me in terms of just being able to do it all i mean there guys you'll see he's had one two and three assists in in those clips and he's just fantastic at doing it guys there again a lovely ball through um so he's capable of playing the passes i would say though if you want him to be more of a hold-up striker put a passing chemistry style on him that will greatly benefit him and what you'll have then guys is a striker who really can do it all you can see there we got a little bit lucky because that passing isn't that high he didn't quite play the right pass to robin but we get away with it and we still get a goal from it now guys we're gonna get into my favorite part of this card which was of course his finishing now there's a lot of finesse shots in here guys 
and you guys are going to see that finesse shot trick come in really handy especially in this clip here i mean he, he's holding off two defenders there with nice dribbling and then how's that for a finish top bins some of the goals he was scoring you can see my reaction i genuinely can't believe it in terms of how well he finishes because guys he's only an 86 rated card he's only 31k so you wouldn't think a player would be able to play that well considering that he is of that level um but guys this he was just fantastic at every facet of the attacking game winning headers like that uh taking on opponents dribbling past people and then on top of all of that guys which made this card even better was the timing of his runs was absolutely phenomenal um and i think that was down to again his high attack positioning i think having such a high level of attacking positioning meant that he met, made the runs at the right time on the wing or up front as well and put himself in the the right spots to be able to give you easy chances to slot away again there look at that run holding off virgil van dyke and smashing it into the bottom corner there taking the ball again a lovely one two gets a little bit of luck here with the defender but once you get it onto that right foot with a finesse nobody's stopping that. that's in off the inside of the post there um, this was by far my favorite one that he scored just a lovely volley into the far side into the side netting. in this final clip here guys you guys are going to see another smash into the back of the net so guys getting into this final carl toko it can be summary now guys this card is currently 31k on the playstation 33k on the xbox 37k on the pc guys this price has been absolutely ruined by investors um he is worth far more than that in my opinion i think this guy is absolutely fantastic and really does deserve a higher price than what he currently has of course guys the key stats as you guys saw from the goals there the finishing the shot power fantastic the strength fantastic um just everything about this card was absolutely great he was able to do it all for me up front and that's what i loved about this card was that he was able to do it all in terms of recommending chemistry guys now there's two ways i would play this i would play this either boost his shooting and his pace uh so maybe stick a hunter on him i, I don't know if his physicality needs that much but i did like the hawk on him because as you guys can see when you chuck that hawk on him it boosts his strength to 92 which which is really nice to compete against center backs with if you plan to play this card up front his jumping goes to 89 makes him even better at corners and look at what it does to his shooting and pace i mean that's still very good if we were to put a hunter on him guys what we get then is 99 pace 94 shooting now that is very nice i don't know if it's a bit overkill especially for the shooting other thing i would recommend guys if you're going to play this more as a winger i would recommend putting an artist on him and that will just help fix up the dribbling and the passing elements of this card so that you are able to uh, play a little more cleanly with this card especially on the wing i think this card's more suited to striker although he is perfectly capable on the wing but if you're going to play him on the wing then give him a chemistry style that will suit him there in terms of similar players guys now i said this before in a previous review and i'm still going to say it again it's not like it's like this card right here this mid thierry Henry is just like that card in fact i think it is better than this mid thierry Henry. as passing aside i think carl toko ikambi's card is better than this mid thierry Henry, and that card is worth many hundreds of thousands of coins and you're getting it for 31k guys so please do take this heed this warning the price will shoot up pick him up while you can for cheap he is sensational as a player i absolutely absolutely loved using him finally guys getting into the link ability now in terms of strong links you've got plenty there you've got some nice links to players like samuel eto uh, memphis Depay, and bruno camaraj the recently released sbc that's a lovely card to link him with as well and um, hussein alwar and miguel lopez if you were to i don't know how you would even fit that in but if you wanted to try and fit that in somehow then he's there uh, Marcelo Denayer as well all fantastic cards to have Lucas Paqueta of course as well so we've got some really lovely linkability with this card my final recommendation as to whether I would recommend you buy this card or not guys yes buy him buy him buy him if you've got a cheap league and squad that you want to run with uh, please buy him uh, you will absolutely love this card you will not regret getting this card i would say that my preferred position for him and i'm definitely going to do this i'm keeping my toko akambi is to play him out on the left and bring him into the middle and play him as a striker i mean he's so cheap and for what he can give you at the striker position i really don't see why i wouldn't take it up on that offer he does just as well as most strikers for me uh, would do given the same price and characteristics and i think it's he'd be a great impact sub as well hope you guys did enjoy this review if you did please do smash that like button and until next time i'll see you all in a bit